that uptick in sales was led by the new Street Twin, a smaller, lighter and less expensive version of the iconic Bonneville, and Triumph says that its date indicate that a significant portion of those sales are to new riders. Apparently there is a market out there for simple, fairly inexpensive, fun, classically good-looking motorcycles. The formula is working. So for 2017, Triumph has announced two new street twin-based models, the Steve McQueen Cool Street Scrambler read our first ride review, and the Sport T Street Cup. Designed to evoke the customized street racing machines of the 1960s London motorcycle club scene, the new street cup is a stripped-down, souped-up cafe racer, but at not quite Truxton levels of performance, size or price. Think of it as a Sport T Street Twin not a smaller Thruxton. While it shares the twin's wheels, gas tank, black engine covers, and other cosmetic details, the new Street Cup has its own cafe racer-style humped seat, matching seat cowl, and fly screen, bar and mirrors with forged mounts, dual clock instrument cluster, sporty Thruxton R-style footbeds, forged headlight mounts, bullet indicators, hand-applied paint trim and pinstriped wheels. The differences aren't merely cosmetic, However, the Street Cup's chassis has been tweaked to result in a steeper rake for sharper handling, with a seating position that puts the rider just over an inch higher and slightly forward. In keeping with its 1960s authentic look, it doesn't have clip-ons, but rather a dropped club manure ace handlebar that manage is to be sporty yet comfortable. The front brake is an upgraded version of the two-piston Nissan caliper used on the Street Twin and Street Scrambler. Biting down on a single 310mm floating disc, its 900cc high torque parallel twin appears to make the same power figures as the twin, which spun the jet tuning dyno to the tune of 52.6 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 56.7 pound feet of torque at 3,200 at the rear wheel. The cup benefits from a set of shorter, lighter, and wider silencers with a slick satin black finish. It also features the same ride-by-wire system, with switchable traction control, standard ABS, non-adjustable 41mm cable fork, and preload-adjustable rear shocks, all with 4.7 inches of travel, rather than the practical, but not terribly sporty gators. However, the cup has plastic fork protectors that show off the shiny chrome stanchions. I got the chance to ride the street cup in the beautiful countryside near Seville, Spain, for a brief three-hour tour through quaint cobblestoned villages.